Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create a PS file using 3.2 option. So 3 stands for utilities. This is the most used option in mainframe. Let's go to get into the 3. And what we can do in 2? In 2, we can create a PS file. We can rename a PS file. We can delete a PS file. Okay, we can catalog or uncatalog a PS file. I'll let you know about catalog and uncatalog. What does it mean? We can also display the information of a PS of a, or a PDS. In mainframe, we call a file as a data set. So we can create, rename, delete, see the information of a PS or PDS in option 2. Let's go get into 2. Apart from creating, renaming, deleting and seeing the information, we can also use G visa utilities. Okay, visa utilities as well as GDG also. We will see that later. The mainframe, so creation also is called as allocation. So you can give an option A here. Use tab such that you bring the cursor here. Okay, this cursor should be pointed in other partition sequential or VSAM data set. You have to give the file name within quotes. KC03E4F.test The file name it can be maximum 43 bytes in length. It should have a node, okay, every qualifier. This is a qualifier and this is a node. Okay, qualifier cannot be greater than eight characters and first character of the qualifier should be alphabet. Okay, and remember, the first very first qualifier is called high level qualifier. You can create data sets in your user ID. And in projects, normally there'll be some common high level qualifiers which can be used by everyone. Okay, so use codes in all the panels except 3.4 okay we have to use codes if you don't give codes i'll tell you what is going to happen let's give codes single code or double code so this is a file name kc03e4f.test let me press enter in mainframe in any panel enter key is to process f3 key to come backwards okay enter key to move forward f3 to move backward I am pressing enter now. Okay, here the allocating new data set panel opens up. Here for training, sometimes we have to give volume name because in training, dash D will be a little small. Okay, for some IDs, they'll be allocating some volume name. Okay, dash D will be having set of volumes. Every volume will have a serial number. Okay, in project, volume name need not be given. Okay, and then we, we have to give the space unit. Okay, in, in mainframe, in project, we use either tracks or cylinders. So apart from tracks or cylinders, we can use KB, megabytes, bytes also. Okay, let's give it one track. Let's use tracks. Use the sp same spelling, whatever is given here. And we are going to give primary quantity 1, secondary quantity 1. I will tell you what is primary, what is secondary later. And I'll, I will also tell you, how many how much data can be stored if you are going to give one primary and one secondary quantity in track in space unit track and here <coughs> directory block is zero it's already given as a hint here and then if record format is going to be fixed block if you're going to have a fixed record layout okay starting position and length of every field is same could be called as a fixed format there are different types of formats, Fix, fixed block, FBA, fixed block architecture, variable block, variable block architecture. Okay, in variable block, we can save the storage. FBA is used for reporting purpose. Okay, all reports are created in olden days in FBA record format. And we have another format called U. U means unformatted. Record length. As far as record length is concerned, okay, it could be anywhere up to 32,760 which is the maximum record length okay it itself is very huge and block size also the maximum block size is 32,760 let's let us create a file with 80 bytes as record length and the block size is always multiples of record length it should be it can multiply by 10 or 100 or it should be divided exactly by the record length so block size should be divided exactly by record length Let's give 800 record length into 10. Okay, we have given tra tracks a space unit. I'll let you know. 
usually in modern days one track can accommodate 55 kb 55000 bytes okay every record okay every character is one byte here every record is 80 bytes in another video i let you know how to come up with tracks okay how to design the storage in old days it is static storage okay in, we have to give the tracks or cylinders along with how much quantity we require in modern day it's a dynamic storage suppose you write one record in a excel sheet it is going to allocate some storage if you are going to store 65000 records in an excel sheet system is going to allocate more storage so dynamic it's a dynamic storage allocation in old and this it's a in main frame it's a we have to forecast how much space is required based on that we have to give primary and secondary along with proper space unit i'm going to press enter key to process so you can see on the top right corner the information message is the data set allocated allocated means it's created let's create one more file test 1 enter you have to give a space unit tracek or trks primary secondary 0 for directory blocks record format record length block size and press enter data set created thank you for watching this video